Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum single player episode. I am back, I'm back making videos. I had my nice long vacation off, pretty much two weeks off from the, uh, the channel and basically out of the country. It was fabulous, before anybody asks. It was fantastic, I didn't want to leave. The food was great, the people were great. The hotel room was fantastic. The heat, oh the heat. Well, average 29, 30 degrees, right? A humidity factor of about 75, between 75 and 80 percent, some, something around that, around that kind of, that percentage. Anyway, uh, towards evening time, it would be like high, high 20s, maybe like 25, 24, something like that. Just in the average, that's kind of average, average range that we experienced, but it was really, really good. But anyway, we're back on Scum today, and... The, de the devs have been doing some stuff. They've been they've been talking about stuff. I've also got a little thing in the pipeline, actually, uh, related to the game and related to the devs, and it's something that they've asked me to do. Uh, so I will give you more information more towards that time about how our, uh, how this is actually going to play out and what it actually is. In fact, I might you know even tell you what it is. I'll just surprise you with it because we will probably be uh, working quite closely together on this little project, and there's a few other people that are involved in this. So. Yeah, there's things, there's things, there's things. Anyway, <clears throat> we've had a lot of leaks from uh, from Tomislav, and we've had a lot of cool things released from Tomislav as well. Uh, the the latest one being the improvised flamethrower. That's pretty cool. I'm going to be able to do some raiding with that. If, if that actually does flame damage and I can actually tear down a wall or maybe a small portion of a modular base with that, I am basically going to become a rust a uh, flamethrower raider in this game and scum i'm gonna be the raider i'm gonna be the person that raids you <laughs> i'm gonna steal all your crocs too the crocs did come with me on holiday and uh, i wore them a grand total of three times out of the uh out of the seven days that i was in fact there so <laughs> they didn't see a lot of use i right i'm i'm gonna out myself here this I, I don't want to hear people berate me i don't want to see people in the comments being like you don't know how to tie your shoes i don't want any of that i'm a person that wears only boots and i'm i'm like see when i say boots i'm talking about like leather boots i'm talking about dress boots kind of leather boots uh work boots you know the black ones that usually get to see construction workers wearing like steel toe cap steel steel toe cap i can't speak today steel toe cap boots and stuff like that that's the kind of thing that i wear um I've been converted into a Skechers. Um, I bought a pair of Skechers for going on holiday. Um, I have not taken them off since. Uh, I've been wearing them to my work. I've been wearing them driving. I've been wearing them out. I've been wearing them to dinners. I've been wearing them to everywhere I can possibly go. And uh, I simply cover the big S symbol on the tongue of the of the shoes. <laughs> so people don't know I'm, I'm wearing them shoes that are just simply slip-ons. These are like slippers, quite literally like slippers. They're so, they're, they're so comfy, they're so comfy. And they're breathable as well. This is not an advertisement for Skechers, I'm just saying I'm a convert. I still wear boots. Don't, don't take that away from me, I still wear boots. I still actively wear boots. But see when I'm in the house, you know, I'm not going to work, I'm driving and stuff like that, I will wear my Skechers and I love them. They're so good and I don't want to see anybody shit talking me in the comments. Anyway. Today, we're, uh, we're just fannying about, really. We are just fannying about, aka, we are just doing what we want today. Uh, oh, that's a big lag spike. Hello. Deader. And we've got our boy up here. Yoink, he just got headshot. Yeah, we're just going to be doing whatever the hell we please today. I'm basically just going to become the loot goblin today. That's all. Oh, ah, the fuses now appear on the overworld. That's pretty cool. I like that change. That's a good little change. Um, obviously, I've not read all the all the patch notes and the dev notes and stuff like that for any recent updates and any recent patches and stuff. Double double pickaxe and an axe. Yeah, I'm going to take the axe. The axe will be quite useful actually. I'm going to be able to build up my base good with that. Hello. Deader. Uh, yeah, there's a few. When I, right, so you know that way when you come back from a holiday and you kind of check things, you check it. The first thing that I do is I check my emails. 
I don't know about you guys, but I check my emails to make sure that nothing has, you know, gone up in flames, things that have not gone completely awry. Um, basically making sure everything that I put in place before I left is still in place. And it was, it was perfectly fine. Uh, but do you know what wasn't in place? The amount of bloody updates to each individual game that I actually play in my Steam library. Now, I've I've got quite a few drives. I've got an S I've got like three SSD drives, I've got a hard drive, and I've got an M.2 drive. If you don't know what an M.2 drive is, uh, Google it. See if your motherboard can take one because they are awesome. They're so good. They're excellent. Tiniest bit of stuff. It's like it's like, a, it's like a USB fitting on your motherboard. Except it's not a USB. It's it's a proper it's a proper chipset and stuff like that. It's got a proper it's got teeth and stuff like that. So you need to be quite delicate with it. You need to be quite careful with it. Hello. Oh shit! I missed. Oh shit! I missed. No, 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 that will not do. I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna take the, uh, the gunpowder, because I feel like making my own ammo. And, there's that, I'm actually working on a video, uh, at the moment, uh, when I came back as well, and more to the point of the conversation that we had before, um, yeah, add so many updates for each individual game that I play on my, uh, on my Steam library. Add absolutely tons, oh! That was interesting. Absolutely tons of them. Boatloads of them. Genuinely boatloads of updates. And I was like, oh my god, what is going on here? Obviously the week I, week I was away, everybody was like, right, he's gone. Everybody start working on stuff. Oh. Spray paint. That's something I've not found in quite a while. Not since uh, buying the DLC for the, uh, the weapon skins and stuff like that. That's actually quite good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make quite, quite good use of that. Can I? <gasps> Hold on. Hold on a second here. Can I, um, oh, that's a block. Can I, um, hold on. Can I, uh, can I, uh, can I... <gasps> oh! Right. What's it? Uh, paint solid color. Yeah, solid color. So we painted it. Grey. Oh. 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, it looks terrible. It looks, it looks absolutely garbage. But like, I can paint my my recurve. That's pretty cool. That's quite cool. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty cool. I've not done a lot of painting with this game. Um, speaking of painting, actually. Um, I, <coughs> I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I maybe have spent a little bit more money on them Warhammer stuff again. Don't, do not flame me in the chat, do not flame me in the comments, I can't help myself, I like painting, okay? And speaking of painting as well, uh, in terms of those, uh, those models, I am very, very tempted to do some painting videos. You know what I mean? Not not like um, this is how you do it. Not like a kind of tutorial, but just hey, this is my attempt. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. Um, it's going to be stupid because I'm not I'm not always clued up on what I'm actually doing, and sometimes I make a mess. Sometimes I do really neat work. Uh, my my best piece so far is Azrak. Uh, which is a world, he's a world eater, he's, he, he's a big stinky boy, um, well he's not a stinky boy actually, he's a world eater so he's a, he's a fucking loser, <laughs> but he's red, and I like red, I like red, and because of that, I decided to buy myself some corn berserkers, you don't see me, I'm, no, Ooh. hold on, What did he just say? Huh? 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 What did he say? I don't know what he said. Doesn't matter though, because we can just jump down. Oh, I just hurt myself. Oops. Right, where am I wanting to go here? I can go to the right and go up that way. 
your, uh, your flamethrower's kind of sticking through the wall, my guy. You, you may want to put that away. Put it away, you fancy piece. I don't want to see it. Away you go. Your flaming hot tip. This man has the clock. Um... Yeah, I don't know whether uh, I don't know whether I should go over to that direction, over to the north. Obviously, there's puppets right there, or I should go to the south. Because if I go to the south, I can go inside that building, which is right, like kind of in that general area, and then I can go up the steps and then along the walkway and then into the main building right here, big warehouse area, which has got lots of little containers in it. I say little containers, it's got big containers, with lots of stuff in them, and uh, yeah, I yeah, I kind of want the loot. I might go this way. Oh, two glass cannons. Two stinky glass cannons. And they weren't very effective. <laughs> uh, I am going to make an executive decision and I am going to go this way. This is probably going to get me killed, maybe. <laughs> Jump over here. And this might, this might damage me. No, it didn't damage me. I'm good. I'm not damaged. I am perfectly fine. Physically. Mentally, probably damaged. Prob maybe probably damaged. <laughs> we'll go inside this building. I do have um, advanced lockpicks. I have a lock set of lockpicks right here. This has got two out of six. That's got two out of four. And I've got a bunch of bobby pins. So we might be able to open four of the five uh, little locked containers right here. So, hello! I missed! I didn't miss that time. I made a noopsie. Sorry. Right, jump through here. And where did that arrow go? Did I pick that up? I think I picked that up. Right, in here. Uh, there's a pack of ciggies. Uh, we have some... Ooh, yes! That's a good find right there. I can stack that full of ammo. I can stack that full of ammo. I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. This is a really laid back episode. Like, I am not panicking at all. Like, everything about this is just chill. It's nice. Everybody can start farting their seats. And it'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. Totally fine. Everybody's happy. Nobody's got a problem. Uh, well, now that we've found 22 caliber, uh, 22 LR, it's a, it's a bloody problem. Um, right, so we've got this one, and we have this one, and we have a bobby pin box. How many of them are there? Five, I was right. So we'll do two on the left, so we'll do these two, and then we'll do these two, right? And we'll leave this one kind of as a mystery, a mystery box that we'll never open. <laughs> Unless I find myself another, uh, another screwdriver. Right, we want to get some lockpicks. We can use Alt-C for this, so I'm just going to click Alt-C, Alt-C, and Alt-C, Alt-Charlie. And, why, ooh, try that again. Why are you still locked? Why are you locked? Oh, that's why I am an idiot. I don't have a screwdriver. <laughs> Well, uh, that fucked that up, didn't it? That, that that royally fucked that up. I should have been clued in on that. I'm a little bit sleepy, as you can quite clearly tell. Um, I don't know if any of those puppets back there dropped any um, any screwdrivers. <laughs> I guess we're not. I guess we're not searching here. I guess we're not. Guess we're not doing it here. I guess we're gonna go across into the uh, the warehouse. Uh, in that case, what we can do is we can quickly create a bundle of improvised lockpicks. That saves space. You can also do a bundle of lockpicks as well. There we go. Perfect. In fact, I'm going to... Uh, no, I'm going to keep those. Because what will happen is I'll end up getting shot. And then the game will be like, Hey, you're bleeding really, really hard. You need to patch yourself up. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to deal with those bandages. I really love these things. It's, they're literally just Wolfenstein. Whoa! Oh, fuck hell. Right. Hold on. Woo! Hmm. Tell you what. Let's make this a little bit easier on myself, shall we? We shall go this way. 
I don't think there's any puppets here. I don't think they spawn within this little compound right here. If you ca if I did toggle this on, if I toggled on the um, the free build mode, I could quite easily build a base in here. This would be a very, well, maybe not secure base, but there's only two ways in and two ways out. And there's, that, there's that one right there and there's that one there. The other, um, the other issue that presents itself with building a base in here is the fact that you need to, oh, you need to deal with the sentries. Stop right there. You did not see me. Assume an unbuttoning washer now, prisoner. Leave the premises at once. Right, I want him to just come over here. Are you coming over? He's going to turn red. Is he? There we go! I've crossed the line and he's the punishment. He's kind of stuck. Oh. Come over. That's it. You're a wee bit confused, aren't you? A wee bit confused. A wee bit lost. Oh, he's not so much lost anymore. There we go. Kind of understands where he is now. Ooh, I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna run in here. I'm gonna get my gun out. I'm gonna shoot them in the head. There we go. Perfect. No problems. Now we can search all these goodies. See what we can find. I'm gonna take that as well. I'm gonna turn that into wires. That's a scout. It's a karambi. Oh, an M82A1 magazine, Barrett 50 caliber. Fits very neatly some 50 BMG rounds. Nice. Nice indeed. Nice indeed. Oh, a thermometer! I've not, I've not seen one of those in ages. You don't tend to find them a lot. They seem to be a rare drop. They seem to be um, very far and few between. Oh, there's a pair of Tims. Uh, some duct tape. I'm going to take the duct tape. That being said, if I find anything that I see is better value, you know, like, like a brick! I, do you know one thing that I wish we could do in this game? I wish we could eat the brick. I wish we could eat the brick. I want to I want to throw the brick. Let me throw the brick. I want to throw the brick. I want to throw it at somebody's glass house, you know. <laughs> I pan a window in, you know. Just that, just that, you know, sometimes you just feel the urge to throw a brick at a window. Oh! Oh, okay. He, di he didn't, he, st he really didn't care. Hello! I'm gonna shut that door. Oops. Point blank, 9mm. You're not going to look over that window. Right, cool. He's not going to look over that window, because if he did, I would cry. I would indeed cry. There would be problems. I would have words with these damn things. I'm going to just stack it like that. Search, search, search. Nothing in there. Is that a wee can of tuna? I like a wee can of tuna. Tuna? Oh. Oh! Oh, two good things! A box of bolts and a screwdriver! There we go! We're doing pretty good here! It's a, it's a nice flow to this episode today. I don't know what it is. I think I'm in a chipper mood. I don't know what it is. I'm I'm actually quite sleepy. I'm not gonna I'm gonna lie to you guys. I am a I'm a rather sleepy boy right now. I am a rather sleepy boy right now. Um I would most love to go to my bed right now, but I can't. Uh, because it's probably only in the region of half past six or something like that. It's 6.30 p.m. in the evening. You know what? I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. I'm a wee bit thirsty. Do I have any bottles of water? I do. I have a helmet on. I need to take the helmet off. There we go. I'll do it now. Right. This is probably a good good point to... To vamos. Right. Get... No. Equip. Equip. Get it. Or. Right. Here we go. Just walk across here. Jump. Run over. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! 7.62. That's a pretty tidy calibre. I'll be taking that. I'm gonna move these 9mm rounds down here. Free up some space at the top here. 
There we go, put the stabilizer there, put my M8 to a one magazine right there. And yeah, I think we're good. Are you are you still causing problems? He is still causing problems. Hmm. Oh. Are you are you gonna spot me? No, you're not gonna spot me. Cool. Right. Uh I think we can move in here now. We'll just do a, a rapid search. That's an axe. I'm going to take the axe. That's a construction pants. I do like the construction pants. The construction pants are very, very my style. The kind of cargo style. I do like them. Sir, I need you to stay down. Stay down. I missed. Oh! Hold on, let me reload. Tactical reload, there we go. That's something I'd like in the game. A tactical reload. Oh, oh that was silly of you. You should just stand there. That was silly. What a fud. <laughs> oh, two scouts of different uh, different variations. We've got a silver one, we've got a kind of gunmetal grey. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Do you see me? You don't see me. Cool. Let's just keep it that way. Oh, soda. I'll go around here. There's a nice little Halloween mask right there. I could sell that. I could I could indeed sell that. Mm, do I want... Oh, oh two-handed axe. So single-handed axe, two-handed axe. I think I'm going to go upstairs. <gasps> Cha Ching! That's what we're after. That's what I'm liking. Oh, there's a... Oh, I thought that was a car door there. It, was, it is a door. It is a door. It's just not a car door. I thought it was a car door. Oh, candy. Up over here. Stay stay crouched because he's going to come back that way anyway. Rattle through this. Some black stab proof armor. Gunpowder. I'll search these little crates right here and then we'll go upstairs. Nice little flannel. Another little flannel. And matches. Not nothing really here for us, really. Um, we're gonna go upstairs. Do I still have that screwdriver? I do. There's a bunch of boxes up here we can search. Double check our magazine before we go up. We get 13 out of 15 rounds. Tap 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 tap. Always with the double tap. There's one upstairs, and he's usually around here, so he'll be coming towards the stairs. If I run up here. Where are you? Eddie's there. Good lad. Making yourself obvious. <laughs> right, there should be one on that uh, that walkway just in front of me, like around here. In fact, I think she's right behind that. No, there she is. Sorted. Downed. Not a problem at all. Uh, I'm going to kneel here. Mainly because the sentry that approaches from the north can see me and the sentry that's kind of patrolling the south here, he can see me as well. So you end up getting, you know, crossfire and you end up getting caught. I have been killed here a lot. <laughs> a lot in the past. Mainly because of my, uh, my foolish ways of, well, not paying attention. So, uh, to, to fix that, I now crawl. Or crouch. Oh shit, see what I mean? If you stay crouched, he can't he can't really hit you. Until you stand back up again. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm gonna go up here. Ooh. Now this is where our boxes are. No, make me. He is a sentinel of death and I am on his hit list. Says that sentry. Okay. Ooh, BCU lock. Don't need one of them. Ooh, an SVD suppressor. Some pretty good stuff in these containers right here. Uh, do I want to go through? I'll go through them. I'll go through them. We might find another screwdriver. Some nylon line. Or monofilament, if you want to be pedantic. Uh, lock. A brick. And brick. 
And that. So we've got four here. And we've actually got some more inside here if we go inside. A bunch of boxes there. I'm not gonna look I'm not gonna touch them. We have four more here. There's a bunch of containers here. I can have a little look in. Well then look see. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I'd like to find a battery at this point. I do have a pair of NVGs on. And NVGs are, are pretty good when they've got a little bit of power to them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any power on mine, so <laughs> I'll need to go find some batteries. Uh, Gunpowder. Another military compass. I've already got a military compass. A one. Oh. Okay. No, I do have two. I do have two, so I can just toss that one. Right, tell you what, we are going... Right, I'm... Um, left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Right. We're going to the right lot. That way. Ooh, where are you? La oh, he's landing dead south of me. Do I save? Do I save the small screwdriver for half of a of a a loot drop? And that uh, that's actually landing very close to my car. Ooh, that's landing really, really close to my car. I need to get back to my car. Oh, he's charging up the shot. <laughs> run, 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 crouch. Oh, see, I knew you were there. Unpack, drop that. Uh, where is my magazine? Right, drop that. So restack a magazine. We need to go get that, that drop because that drop is actually quite close to my car. My car's just down there and the drop should be landing like anywhere like around that kind of silo over there. So we're going to go for it. May as well, right? May as well. If, if, if we're here, may as well take it. And you never know, we might actually get a proper weapon out of it. We might even get an SVD. I did, I did see... Uh, an RPK magazine back there. 75 round R uh, R uh, RPK magazine. I'm very, very, very tempted to go and get it. Hello? Oh! Well, that was the wrong thing to do, wasn't it? Great. Now I'm, uh, I'm kind of stuck here for a minute. Right. That is landing... That way. So it'll land there somewhere. Are you directly underneath me? Oh fuck you! Alright, he's still there, okay. I need to somehow try and get off of here without these sentries picking me. Doesn't help that my <laughs> that my inventory's kinda kind of packed. Oh! You don't see me. It's all lies. Right, it's, it's that one I need to worry about. This, this one down here. This one that you can see. He's the problem. He is the problem child. That one over there, not a problem. He can he can wander all the way up there. This one though is 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 an absolute pain in the jacksy. Easy. Okay. Drop. Where are you? Where, 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 where is it? In fact, you know what we'll do? We'll play it safe. We'll go back and grab the car. Because that's a... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh! <coughs> well, you know what? Some, uh, some rather uh, broken ankles are better than, like, several shots to the chest. So I'm gonna i I'm gonna count that as a success. <laughs> okay. We're not we're not gonna count that as a as a failure or anything like that. We're gonna take the NVGs off. We're gonna take them off because we need all the space that we can get here just to fill everything up with the drop. So keep those. Drop that in there, drop that in there, that in there. Uh, put this stuff up here. Screwdriver. Is there any screwdrivers in my car? I'd like to know that. Um any screw oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. screwdriver. We've got four now. We have four. That's good. That's a good that's a good number. That's that's more than more than half now. Which is good. 
That's much better. Right, we'll throw that back in there. Keep the magazine because we're not daft. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. That in there. And that in there. Put this down here. Put the prom mine in there. Turn around and we'll see the... No. Wait. No. Where is that dropping? Yeah, that's definitely dropping to the south. That That's dropping right, like, right here. Okay. Uh... Hmm. I'd like to try and get this, uh... I'd like to try and get this drop. I'd like to find out where it's dropping. Oh, it's dropping on the road over here. So it should be, uh... It should be just in front of me. Just in front of me here. Should be... Well, it won't spawn in just yet. Oh god, it's also getting night time. Ugh! Oh, batteries! There we go! Equip! Insert into night, night vision goggles. There we go. Aha! Aha! Right. Let's drive to that. Let's get over there. Oh, that's, uh. I'll be just to my left here. Mind the twigs and the branches and the crap and everything. Right. There we go. We can only do four of the containers, so we are going to do two on either side. Open set. Oh. A tree. Uh, we're going to do the back two because I feel I'm feeling lucky. That's done nearly. There we go. Tidy. And there we go. Right, we'll open these two. See what we get. Ew. Ew. I mean, that's... I mean, it's not bad, but it's also not that good. Uh, I'm going to do one at the front. One at the front and one in the middle, I think. There we go. Let's have a little look, see what's in here. Okay, that's good. 792 rounds. Is this the one with the car 98k in it? in it? If it's not, I'm gonna cry. If it's not, I'm gonna... Oh. Well, that's TNT. That's still... That's still okay. Um, Do I have a car 98k? I don't have a car 98k. But, we have all the bullets. We even have a suppressor for it as well. I'm actually going to keep one of these and eat it because my character, I believe, is a little bit on the hungry side. And these are simply just calorie blasters, so we're just going to um, take that off and we're going to eat. How much time have I got left? Got four minutes, so we can just stick by the uh, stick by the drop itself. You know. There we go. Locked. In the last 30 seconds, it unlocks itself, but then obviously you've got a countdown. And then you need to sprint away with the stuff that you've got on. And usually a lot of people don't don't make it. They usually don't make it. <laughs> I mean, I've not made it. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay, right. I think it's time to go home. I am not dealing with wolves. I am not dealing with wolves. You cannot make me deal with the wolves. I'm going home. Car? Oh, that's fabulous, thank you. Right, we're just gonna go home now. Good. I don't know what that was. That was a that was a weird clicking noise that I just heard there. The wolves seem to be inside the uh, inside the factory. Factory wolves, guard dogs. Guard dogs would be a cool thing as well. But I could imagine how uh, how broken that would be if people actually did try and tame wolves in this game, use them as guard dogs, attack dogs, and stuff like that. Oh, it'd be it would be it would be nasty. It would be nasty. Just send them ahead, like to kind of maybe not scout, but kind of track down players, and then you ju you just hear the gunshots and they would run back to their owners and be like, yep, yep, there's people there. There are people generally right there. Just. You know, grab a sniper rifle and go do them. 
We're actually almost home as well. Home's, uh, home's not that far. Home's just up this hill, and I believe it's going to be absolutely crawling with puppets. I have a, a, a creeping suspicion that we are going to have to face off with a couple of puppets right here. Ah, yes. Good thing I have a car. Toot toot. Get out of the road. There we go, and we'll go back for them again. This is just the easy way, just saves using my my arrows, my bullets, just saves time, you know. Just doing it like this, so much easier. Bonk, 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 bonk. Is that them all? That is indeed them all. I didn't even use a lot of fuel out of that, which is good. Perfecto! I'll just uh, turn the NVGs on, just so we can actually see here. Right, what kind of problems am I having to deal with here? Shh. There we go. There's one inside here, there might be two inside here. Hi pal. And we're clear. We are clear. We are, uh... I didn't put my helmet on. I did not put my helmet on. Oopsies. Anyway! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we made it home. And everything seems to be still standing as well. Is my box still there? My box is still there. Haha! Haha! -ha! I knew I, I knew I had guns here. I knew I had guns here. And there's there's the big stone axe that I made as well. That was that was a silly thing to make. I don't think I should have made that. That's just a waste of time. Just make a small axe. It, it, it saves you time and it's it it comes out in a higher dur durability as well. We've even got some uh, lockpick uh, lockpick stuff here as well. Um, Another Block 21, Estas, AKS 74U, 1887, Black Hawk Crossbow, a couple of bolts. Maybe we could make bolts here. This this place does have the facility to make bolts. It's just wood, uh, stone tips, and uh, feathers. You can grab feathers out of the haystacks. In fact, see, we'll sp see before we do anything, actually. We just loot all these corpses because there might be something kind of useful in amongst them. Uh, nothing useful on that person. What about you? What have you got? I like that my balance is up at 1,223. I need to get that a wee bit higher. Maybe get some gold balance as well, so I can actually s so I can spawn at my uh, at my bed and stuff like that instead of sector spawning. I think gold's in the region of 1200, 1800 or something like that. So I'm going to need to work a wee bit. I'm going to need to sell some things. Which might be the next episode, you never know. Uh, a bunch of clothing and miscellaneous stuff that I don't actually need right now. What does our big man have? He has cigarettes and Tims. Before we do anything as well, we're going to go search the, uh, the last chap in here. And we'll search the bed. No money. Shocking. Take that. A little uh, shema. Uh, nothing there. Anything in here? Ooh, sexy denim shorts. Oh, and the purple. A wee purple, a wee purple tinge to them. Ooh. What have we got here? Tequila? Tequila? Wait. A bedroll. <laughs> right. See before we see before we close up here, guys. Has anybody actually been using the bedrolls? Has anyone actually been using the bedrolls? Because I don't... I've, I've not used the bedrolls. I do have exhaustion on this... Uh, this this uh, single player save. I have it turned on. He get dragged away. I do have it turned on. But I don't seem to see the adverse effects of it. So, oh yes, thank you very much. That is exactly what I needed. Oh, that... Mm -hmm. I'm glad I made a base here. Coal bag. Bolts. And... Ooh. A 
crowbar. In the event that I run out of uh, screwdrivers, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm glad I made a base here. This has been pretty good. I think, I think in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to build a wee bit of a base here. I think I'm going to erect a couple of big walls, uh, mainly connecting the buildings up in this this kind of outbuilding right here. So that will connect to like there, and I'll basically create myself my own little compound, and from there. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll just develop what we can. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up on this uh, this video right here. Tell me what you think in it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you guys a fan of Scum? Any new players out there a fan of Scum? It's a pretty good game. If you're looking for a survival game, this is the game. This is the game. And they've got a lot of cool updates coming out as well. They've got a lot of cool leaks from the, uh, the, 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 uh, the co-director of the game and it's really, really cool. Some of the stuff that, that, I, that I've seen, absolutely phenomenal and the planes are making their way back as well. So soon, we'll have to deal with the planes again. But it's okay because they're modular too. <laughs> that as well, ladies and gentlemen. If you've been enjoying this series and you've still not subscribed, please consider subscribing, ring the little bell, you stay up to date with videos just like this as well as a Sunday night live stream that starts between 6 and 7 p.m. UK. We go for about 3-4 hours playing Scum, a variety of FPS titles, RTS titles, other survival titles. So there's a load of survival titles out there that I like to showcase to people. And occasionally you'll see a 40k mini stream where I do some painting. I like painting. It's a nice little hobby that I have. It's therapeutic and I like to show off my paintwork. It's pretty good. I like it. I enjoy it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching again. Uh, yeah. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been uh, Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time. <laughs>